Hey, so I'm cooking dinner. Let's see if I can switch the screen. We'll be making baby octopus with some you know, veggies and uh, some spices and a little bit of pasta. So, so basically I'm gonna you know heat up some olive oil, uh, uh, sweat my, my spices, uh, throw these guys in for a minute or two and let's see what comes out. It's warm enough that I can bring some of my plants outside now. I thought I'd show these to you. So this is a, a spreading you, and uh, I need a lot of cleanup in this, but it's got a nice thick trunk. We've got the smoke tree. This is a uh, red twig dogwood. And I'm gonna plant this uh, in behind my house. That is the old gold uh, juniper that, I, that I've tied up. This is the uh, Arctic Sun red twig dogwood. And I haven't gotten any real growth here, but it's not been able to get the sun uh, indoors. This is called the uh, lemony lace. It's a uh, elderberry, and it's got these leaves that are, are uh, kind of lace pattern. And I thought this would be kind of a fun plant to to experiment with and see what I could do with it. Uh, this is a burning bush, and the burning bush I'm really excited about. It's got a lot of growth going on up here, and in general, it's got kind of a really cool texture. So when the when the fall comes, it'll be quite pretty. And these are again a few more, uh, a few more old gold uh, juniper. Some of them have got some really neat trunk structures, and I got these so that maybe this summer, uh, when you and I have time, we can work on them. And <coughs> and lastly, <clears throat> this is a little. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. I've got the card in somewhere. But it's a little tree. It's a, uh, it's a Christmas tree type thing. Uh, but it's got this long, straight, thick trunk. And I'm going to try doing some extended bending on, on this trunk and see if I can get a, a swoop, swoopy trunk to it. I think that would be kind of neat. And again, you know, it's whatever, a $7 plant from Walmart. So worst case, I, uh, you know, kill it off for cut it back to the ground and let it grow out the next year. So we'll see what we can do. So these guys are all gonna be outside while while I'm away and hopefully we'll get plenty of sun and I'll, I'll uh, give them a good water before I take off too. Then in, indoors I've got uh, the other plants which I don't think are gonna handle the, the uh, cold weather quite as, as well. It's getting down to about 35, 36 at night. The spices I'm using are uh, I think the predominant flavor is I'm going to go with is this uh, Portuguese fermented pepper. This, that was a gift from Uncle David, and I thought that this would go well with the uh, the olive oil and the spices, and I want a little more sweetness with it. It, it is a fairly sweet pepper, but I'm also going to throw in some uh, diced up sun-ripened tomatoes, because I think that will add some, uh, some sweetness to the, the pepper flavor. Look at that. That's a whole pan full of baby octopus. There's actually 21 of them in there. I, I took and I cleaned them and, and uh, cut them up so you get the little octopus suckers there. So it seems as you cook these they get more and more red colored and the legs get kind of curly. But it's looking really good now. So I think I'm gonna pull the octopus out and use the the broth to uh, uh, finish off the pasta, which is, is going here. So I've taken the uh, uh, octopus out and now I, I've put the pasta in the, in the octopus juice and I'm going to let this thicken up into a sauce. So now I've taken the uh, pasta out and I'm cooking down these juices to make a sauce. And this is the final product. I've got a, a nice sauce, I've got you know, some beautiful octopus, and uh, it looks tasty. It smells good too. So this plate is, a, is about one pound of octopus, and uh, 
a little bit of pasta under that. Let's see how this tastes. Legs. Mmm. Quite good. Um. I can kind of taste the peppers, but not not really. Interestingly, the, the octopus flavor comes through more than the pepper flavor does. And I had, of course, a little bit of garlic as well. Um, cleaning octopus, it's a bit of a pain. Um, with the babies, then you know, they came gutted, right? Well, you don't really trust what comes out of that, so you uh, always go through and clean them yourself. Um, basically, I, I took the, the heads and cut them in half and, and cleaned them out. And the bodies, I cut in half, so you got four legs per half. And that allowed me to put a a knife into where the the beak was and uh there were probably about maybe half a dozen beaks there there were 21 octopus total and maybe about six beaks i had to remove still <sighs> well anyway it's not a bad dinner so i bought these two pounds of octopus last summer when you were visiting Evelyn, and uh, I thought we could eat them then, we just never quite came up. I mean, we had a lot of travel that day, or that week. And we can always get some more. I've even been thinking that maybe this summer we could go to Seattle, just to see the ocean. And then maybe we get seafood along the way. The ocean is, is just amazingly huge if you've never seen it before. And it's kind of a kind of a fun thing. I mean it's it's cold, so you don't want to get in it, but but uh sticking your big toe in it is kind of a nice exercise. Uh the rest of my day I spent my day uh, in administration. I'm redesigning the uh, WSU material science curricula. And uh, this semester we've, we've been meeting with, I don't know, maybe five, six people and getting their ideas of, of what should be done and building kind of a consensus on the way the department should evolve in the future. And today I, I went through and I took all the ideas that came from these meetings and, and put them together into a, a single PowerPoint presentation or I guess Google Sheets or Google Slides presentation. Mm, I have other good news today. This guy named uh, Michael is going to be joining my group in, in August. I'm really excited about that. He seemed like a really interesting guy when I, when I met him. Admittedly, we only had like 15-20 you know, minutes to talk. But he's coming from Virginia Tech and I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, we have to figure out a good project for him. He's coming from uh, chemistry and in, in particular green chemistry. Uh, in environmentalism and I think that we could find some probably pretty good projects in collaboration with uh, Professor Song or Professor Banerjee that would uh, be parallel to what the students interested in um, 
I went to a uh, committee meeting today to talk about uh, awards for teaching, and, and that was kind of discouraging. Um, uh, you know, where there was one person that had their uh, application in for this award, and uh, you know, the only comment against this person was, it's kind of short. I mean, it wasn't that short. It's just that they had no way to you know, address this and say, well, you know, they should have you know, written an extra page of, of content about you know, how they want to teach. And you think, great. So we're uh, judging how good teachers are based on how much time they have to fill out a, a stupid award application. It all seems like a waste to me, but you know, it was, it was insightful and I kind of had a good time. I walked out and saw the sun and then went back to my office. <laughs> well, anyway, I should probably go here. I'm uh, going to switch implements so I'm not uh, trying to suck down pasta with uh, chopsticks. I love you very much, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.